working in these black belt counties to get Negroes registered and to get the kind of political education going that will bring the awareness and the determination to register. It seems to me that this is a noble task that any student will participate in. We must have a sort of domestic freedom corps and by the thousand students and faculty members who continue to come into the Deep South and aid us in the struggle. In short, that is still a great deal of work to be done. As I said, no community can boast of clean hands in this area, and this problem will not be solved until we develop a sort of divine discontent all over America. There are certain technical words within every academic discipline which soon become stereotypes and cliches. Every academic discipline has its technical nomenclature. Modern psychology has a word that is probably used more than any other word in psychology. It is the word maladjusted. And certainly we all want to live the well-adjusted life in order to avoid neurotic and schizophrenic personality. But I must honestly say to you this afternoon, my friends, there are some things within our world and our nation which I'm proud to be maladjusted, which I call upon all people of goodwill to be maladjusted until the good society is realized. I must honestly say that I never intend to become adjusted to segregation and discrimination. I never intend to adjust myself to religious bigotry. I never intend to become adjusted to economic conditions that will take necessity from the many to give luxuries to the few. But I recognize that there are between 40 and 50 million of our brothers and sisters in this country who are perishing on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. And I will never adjust myself to these conditions. I will never be satisfied until all of God's children will have the basic necessities of life I must honestly say that I never intend to adjust myself to the madness of militarism and the self-defeating effects of physical violence. But in a day when Sputniks and explorers are dashing through outer space and guided ballistic missiles are carving highways of death through the stratosphere, no nation can win a war. It is no longer the choice between violence and non-violence. It is either non-violence or non-existence. The alternative to disarmament, the alternative to a greater suspension of nuclear tests, the alternative to strengthening the United Nations and thereby disarming the whole world may well be a civilization plunged into the abyss of annihilation. And so maybe we need a new organization in our world, the International Association for the Advancement of Creative Maladjustment.